And now, all new at noon, prosecutors in the double murder case involving the sons of the Canadian Consul General in Miami are taking it to a grand jury. They want to try the 15-year-old surviving son as an adult. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live at the Juvenile Justice Center in Miami, where a hearing wrapped up earlier today. Natalia. Well, despite the fact that Mark Wabafiabasu just turned 15, prosecutors say they do want to charge him as an adult if a grand jury approves. And his mother, the Canadian Consul General in Miami, is here through it all. Canadian Consul General in Miami, Roxanne Dubé, did not show emotion or speak to the press as she walked into a juvenile justice courtroom. She appeared at her 15-year-old son's hearing and learned that the state wants to throw the book in him, charging him as an adult with murder if a grand jury approves it. The state uh, just filed this morning its intention um, to go to the grand jury. Mark Wabafiabasu said little as he stood in front of the judge. The state is considering treating this case in the adult court instead of the juvenile court. Don't say anything out loud in court because I'm recording everything and the state is sitting across the table. Do you understand? Miami police say Mark and his 17 year old brother Jean went to this apartment near Coral Way with the intention of robbing drug dealers. Police say they drove there in Dubay's BMW with diplomatic plates. Shots were fired and Jean was killed, along with another teen, Joshua Wright. A third man was also shot and hospitalized. And this man, 19-year-old Anthony Rodriguez, is facing murder charges for being part of a felony that resulted in someone's death. If a grand jury indicts, that's the same charge Mark would face. He's also charged with allegedly threatening to kill a homicide detective. His attorney, Kurt Obron, says he's also grieving. How is Mark? That, uh, well, I guess as one would imagine, a 14 or actually he just turned 15-year-old. Uh, it's never been exposed to any aspect of the criminal justice system in his life to be in this situation losing a brother. He says Dubay is shaken by the death of one son and the potential imprisonment of the other. She's been visiting Mark while he's locked up. It's probably the most tragic situation I've seen across the board for all families involved. Our heart goes out to all of the families. And now Mark's attorney tells me no matter in which court system his client is tried, he plans to plead not guilty. Mark's next hearing is here April 20th. At that time, we'll learn the grand jury's findings and whether or not he'll be charged as an adult or whether charges will, he'll face charges here in the juvenile system. And until then, he'll remain locked up. Natalia Gazea, CBS 4 News.